inspiration for Rocky Mountain Hardware really came from repeated requests from clients of ours. During the 80s and 90s, my husband Mark and I owned and operated a showroom that sold high-end custom doors, windows, and other manufacturers' door hardware for custom homes in the Sun Valley, Idaho area. Architects, designers, builders were looking for something that simply wasn't on the market. It didn't exist. So Mark looked at that as an opportunity, and that was how Rocky Mountain Hardware was born. Um, I certainly saw a void in the marketplace for fine architectural hardware. We had a lot of builders and architects that had a lot of confidence in Mark and uh, they took a chance on him basically and that's how the first job started. The thing that I love about Berlin's is that it just has this really rich inherent character to it. It's a living finish, it, it lives with its environment, so it can change to adapt to whatever environment it might be in. What's on your front door is your first impression of what's inside. Whether it's a clean and contemporary look, we uh, have products that will speak to that. Whether it's a, you know, a rustic old log cabin, easily have products that speak to that as well. It's just fun. It's fun to work with architects, designers, and take their, their idea, their vision, and actually make it come to life. We get it uh, from various manufacturers in the United States. Every element that goes into the ingots that we purchase are 100% recycled. And then what we do is we remelt that ingot back down into uh, to a liquid form and then pour it into our mold. We had a company come in called Scientific Certification Systems to assess exactly how much recycled content our product contains. They have certified our product to be 90% recycled, of which 50% is post-consumer. The great thing about using post-consumer material is that you are diverting that material from ending up in the landfill. It's taking on a second life. This allows our product to contribute towards earning up to two lead points from the USGBC for a registered project. techniques that are being used today are pretty much the exact same techniques that were used thousands of years ago. And, but the basic uh, making of the molds, the masters, all that sort of stuff, there's only uh, one simple way to do it and that's hands-on work. So. We call ourselves this green sand foundry. What that means is, is that all the sand we use, we recondition that sand on an on a hourly basis, truly. So as, as we're casting and making molds, that spent sand, we will put that back into a hopper tank, let it cool down. We use uh, water and certain clays, which uh, recondition the sand to get it to the right compactability for the next mold. Zero waste as far as the sand. In our investment cast process, every single part you ever make, you begin with a wax part first. We will use a spent wax from the aerospace industry. Then we will again remelt that wax back out and use it uh, sometimes two, sometimes three different times per part. shop and grinding shop we will take and uh, have large dust collectors which collect all the particulates during the uh, grinding process and we take and recycle all the bronze dust um, that we accumulate. We again collect all those chips and recycle all those chips so there's really no byproduct whatsoever. The uh, product after leaves show shown will come to Haley at which point we'll do a secondary machining step um, finishing, final assembly, and then package and ship, and then everything it ships out of Haley to its uh, various locations around the world.
When we realized we needed to expand our facilities here in Haley, Idaho, we turned to the USGBC's lead rating system as our guide. We were able to design and create a building that, that balances both our environmental responsibilities as well as the well-being of our employees. And as a result of this, we're proud to say we achieved LEED Gold Certification. The LEED Certification process for any structure begins at looking at the existing site, what's on it. From that, we completely recycled the, uh, the existing buildings that were here. The wood went in one, you know, dumpster, the metal went in another dumpster. We recycled the concrete. That figure ended up at 79%. We use process water and vibratory equipment. We take in and recycle all the water. So uh, we've got a closed loop system in which we take and recycle that water and then we'll go back into uh, the process. Because of that and also the low flow fixtures that we utilize throughout the building, we've been able to um, cut back our water usage by over 42%. Virtually everything that we used in this building has a low or a no VOC rating, from the carpet to the paints to the adhesives, the plywood were chosen for their low VOC content. In addition to using low VOC products, all of our cleaning products used on a daily basis have been certified by Green Seal. When we designed this building, one of the um, lead categories has to do with energy efficiency. We used a highly energy efficient HVAC system that is individually zoned. So each area in the building, individual offices have the option to control their own area. And as a result, you save a, a huge amount of energy. Throughout the rest of the facility, we uh, use natural daylight throughout, you know, put windows in optimum areas. Uh, we have full glass roll-up doors, so it maximizes all natural daylight coming into the facility. It has cut down on the amount of artificial light that we have to have. Roughly 90% of all workspaces have um, visibility to outside, and everything is naturally daylit, you know, so all these things are just kind of motivators for all of our employees or anybody for that matter. You know, the idea was to create a place that everyone felt good working in. Um, everybody's very enthusiastic, wants to come in and get their job done, and uh, therefore we get to play a lot as well. We have a basketball court in our manufacturing facility. We have horseshoe pits, a gym. We also provide yoga classes twice a week, Pilates classes, as well as we have showers, lockers. Ultimately, I mean, it's, it's a benefit for our employees, certainly, and as, uh, as an employer, have healthier people coming to work every day, and it's uh, you know, a, a better environment for all. You know, achieving League Gold Certification really gives us a great sense of pride, not only in the structure that we built, but I think it also shows that our commitment to the environment extends not only to the product that we make, but also to where we make it. We do it because we feel it's, it's the right way to operate a company. Responsible manufacturing, providing a great workspace for our employees, too many companies nowadays don't uh, don't take it to that level, and ultimately, you know, the environment is suffering from that. It's in front of us all the time, and I feel like everyone needs to do their part. However small that may be, it all adds up in the end. We need to look out for future generations. I've got two kids. I certainly want them to be able to grow up and, and enjoy the lovely things we have here today. It makes us feel great. We're able to manufacture a beautiful product in a beautiful area in a way that protects the environment.